Hi everyone, it's Gene Calderon here with a special teaching today doing about the seasons. We're, we're entering into what we call the Easter season or Resurrection Sunday. And today, if you're able to celebrate it, was what we know as Palm Sunday. And it's a very festive time. It's a fun time to be able to bring out palm branches and wave them. My church happened to do that this weekend. We walked around our community and waved the palm branches and just announcing the fact that Jesus is here. But what that day is really commemorating is what we read in the Gospels known as the Triumphal Entry. That is the day that Jesus was on a donkey. Everybody's waving palm branches, crying out, Hoshana, Hoshana. First of all, what was going on and why on that particular day? Well, to us, we might think, well, it, it just happened to be the day that Jesus was walking into town. And that's not it at all. Like what they were getting ready to do was celebrate the, the festival known as Passover. And so the people are excited about this holiday about to happen. It's a, still about a week away, but Jesus makes his way to Jerusalem in order to celebrate the first of the Jewish holidays that we read about in the Bible, Passover. Passover always happens on the 14th day of their first month. And in the book of Exodus, in order to celebrate on the 14th day, we read that they are to pick a lamb for the family for their sacrifice on the 10th day of that month. In the book of Exodus chapter 12, we read, Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. And so this day, the 10th day of that particular month, is the day that we call Palm Sunday. But that day, to all of the Jewish people who come to Jerusalem, they would have been showing up on that day in order to pick their lamb for the sacrifice of Passover that was coming up. Exodus is very clear about doing that on that particular day and what kind of land they were supposed to pick for their family. In Exodus 12, again, we read, the animals you choose must be a year-old male without defect, and you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month. And so the triumphal entry, or what we call Palm Sunday, is the day that all the Jews came to Jerusalem to buy a lamb. So when we read about Jesus' triumphal entry, we read about all these people showing up with coats and palm branches and all these different things. Why are they there? Why is Jesus walking in on this day as opposed to any other day? Was he just leaning around thinking, hey, you know what? I think I'll go to Jerusalem this day. No, it's the 10th day of the month. It's the day that everybody comes to Jerusalem in order to pick their lamb. It is a very festive event, kind of like Christmas for us. People sometimes they go and they look for a tree. They got to get the right tree, the right size, the perfect color, things like that. They were looking for their perfect lamb for the sacrifice of the holiday that was coming up. The streets would have been crowded. You cannot walk against the crowd unless they make a path for you. But the Jewish historian known as Josephus estimates that about 3 million people may have been in that city, a city that was meant to only hold about 80,000. So when you've got a city meant for 80,000 and about 3 million are there, it is a very packed community unity happening. Uh, and Jesus walks in on this day, gets the attention of the people on Lamb Selection Day. Jesus, the Lamb of God, walks in presenting himself on a donkey as people are picking their lambs. And I think today, as we look at this, as we share the gospel, we can ask people, have you picked your lamb? The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, presenting himself on Lamb Selection Day. And that is Palm Sunday, the day of triumphal entry, the day that we might have been celebrating today as Christians if if not, there's still time. Let somebody know about Jesus today, and we'll continue on with more of these teachings to share as we follow. Again, I'm Gene Calderon, a chapter director for Ratio Christi at Purdue University Northwest, also serving at my home church in Freedom Church, East Chicago, or just on these videos. I just want to get the word out. It is good news for everyone to hear, and I hope this blesses you. Stay tuned. We're coming up with more short videos like this every day this week, as best as I can print them out to you. God bless you. Thanks for watching. <music>